All right, so let's take a look at the anatomy of your guitar. All right, so I'm going to go through the parts of the guitar, and then I'm going to show you what is the only the 20% that you absolutely have to know. All right, so starting from this side, now I'm right-handed, right? So when I strum the guitar itself, the guitar is going, to, um, is going this way, where my right hand is near this sound hole here. So I'm going to start over here and show you this first is called a headstock, this whole like piece of wood right here to the left of this. Uh, white thing. Here's your headstock. Part of the headstock that will be pretty important are these six little pegs. Hard to do this while looking at the camera because it's reversed, right? So I've got a my simple brain has a hard time with these little things. So here, here are the, the tuning pegs. If you're playing a six string guitar, electric or acoustic, you're going to have six pegs here. Bass guitars are those kind of deeper toned guitars. They have four really fat strings and because they only have four strings, they only have four pegs. Now here this is an acoustic guitar, and an electric guitar, a, a, a basic one, a typical one, is going to have six tuning pegs. All right, so if we go further down here, here's the nut of your guitar. The opposite of the nut, just to skip a little bit, is the bridge way over here. Okay, so the strings themselves rest here and then down here, these two white bits on my guitar. Okay, so starting from here again, here's the nut, here's the bridge of the guitar. And in between these is where you, as a guitar player, are going to kind of um, manipulate the sound. You know, have the sounds go up and down and, you know, move your hands around. Okay, so in, all the action happens between here, here and here. Where is that action, okay? So the first concept I want to throw at you is the idea of horizontal and vertical. Okay, so horizontal, which is going, you know, this way, these are your strings. They're moving horizontally from the nut of the guitar to the bridge. Okay? And like a rubber band, if you think of like tightening a rubber band and then having like a, you know, putting your finger in, if you put your kind of your, your pluck in the string, the tighter the string is, right, the higher the pitch. Okay, it's the same thing with a, with a string, a guitar string. So if I move my finger up, you see how that sounds higher, going low? The reason is that the shorter the, the string, or the tighter the string here, the higher the tone. How am I doing that? My strings, I have six of them, we'll name them later on in the course, but here's six here from, from top to bottom, they move horizontally. And then vertically, you have these little metal things called frets. They look a lot like this nut, but they just kind of move up the, the, the neck of the guitar. I haven't told you what the neck is yet. The neck is this part right here, this piece of wood that, that is on my palm. Okay, So the frets go along the neck of the guitar. The fret themselves are numbered, so here's your first fret. It's the first fret because it's closest to the nut of the guitar. So here's your nut, or zero, in other words. Fret number one, two, three, four, five, six. We're not covering tablature here, but that's where tablature got popular, because you just kind of copy and paste. Not that important to understand tablature for this part, for this course, not important. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And then here are your one, two, three, four, five, six strings. Moving down, you have the body of the guitar, which is this big wooden part at the bottom. Okay? When I'm holding the guitar, an acoustic guitar anyway, I'm resting this curve, assuming that you have one. Some classical guitars do not have this curve. But I rest it right here. Electric, most electric and, and modern acoustic guitars will have that. It just kind of rests um, right on my leg, on my thigh. Okay? Now, uh, here's the sound hole. So this is unique to acoustic guitars. So there's, I mean, broadly speaking, there's two kinds of guitars, electric or acoustic. Acoustic guitars have this big old sound hole right here. And then again, here's your bridge. Okay, so just to review, we have the headstock up here. We have the tuning pegs here. We've got the nut. Again, hard to do this backwards. <laughs> uh, I hope my guitar instructor never sees this video. Very embarrassing. Uh, here's the nut. You have your frets, one, two, three, four. The neck of the guitar, excuse me, on the neck is, are the frets. And then your six strings from top to bottom. Here's the body of the guitar down here, sound hole and bridge. I threw a ton at you. Don't worry about it. There's only three things that you have to know. Okay, there's only three. You want to know these tuning pegs. Okay, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar in a bit. But if you can't tune it, no matter how good of a guitar player you are, it's not going to sound good. So your tuning pegs you're going to want to know, your strings you want to know, and your frets you want to know. Everything else, not important. 
Okay, but just kind of get the gist of what the guitar is doing and what the parts are. But those are the only three that you're going to have to work with for this course. So don't worry about anything else. Intro to the anatomy of your guitar. Um, next, we're going to look at how to hold the guitar.